How's it going, fishing friends? Today we're going to do something a little bit different. I can't take the car out today. I want to go ahead and make a video to show you guys, even if you don't have access to a boat, kayak, or even a car, sometimes you can get out and catch some fish. We're going to get down to our spot. Um, well, actually I say spot because I have a spot in mind, but we're probably going to fish several spots along the way and here and there. So uh, stay tuned, learn how to get on some fish, so check it out. Oh yeah, I really wasn't gonna stop anywhere aside from the spot that I'm trying to get to, but I just seen a fish run out of here. So we're gonna kinda hop down here and see if we can make something happen. Who knows, maybe we'll catch a fish. Maybe we'll fall in the water. Whoa, like I said, maybe we'll fall in the water. Maybe we'll step on a snake. There went a turtle, or I meant a turtle, a frog. Ah, oh, shoot. It's not where we wanted it, fellas. Oh, I swear I just seen something else jump out. Let's see what happens when we roll it up in here, guys. Who knows? You never know, areas like this, they're just kind of back pockets, nobody stops at them. I know I gotta pee though, so I gotta hurry up and get back to moving. I'm gonna pee on myself. All right, nothing followed it out. Let's go ahead and give it another roll down here. Oh. I really need to whiz, but I don't want somebody to stop by and be like, oh, jam the man, rocking a wicked whiz here. Yeah, we're gonna have to get back on the road. As cool as it was, we seen something. That's a start. All right, yep. It's time to get going. I've got to pee, guys. Gosh dang it. I have couldn't even stay in there long enough to cast because I have to pee. So I guess I'm just going to get down to my area. If I pass up any more cool spots, though, we're going to hit them back up. I've just got to get somewhere where I can rock a whiz. Oh, snap. Okay, well, I wasn't going to turn the camera on because this is just a really small spot. But look at that. Oh, man. Jam the man, roadside creek fishing edition. What do we have here? Looks like a green sunfish on the cricket bite. Here we go, quick release. One fish already and I haven't even made it to my spot. And this is pretty sweet. I feel like there's a lot more fish that would take this, but I really need to pee, so it kind of makes it hard to even sit here and throw this. I actually seen some pretty sizable ones in here. I may have to come back to this spot, guys, because I am really about to piss myself. <laughs> That was pretty cool, we caught one, yeah. We gotta hurry up and get to our spot though because we're losing daylight. If you guys don't have any ponds or any uh, lakes or rivers around your house or within walking distance, but I'd say that I've walked about a mile, maybe a mile and a half now. Right up the road is where we're trying to get to. But I hope you guys are already enjoying Jam the Man Fishing Roadside Creek Edition. <clears throat> Blasting through here. Holy sh few steps and I'll be down at my spot. Oh wow, there's a pretty nice, it's either a green sunfish or a nice little bass. I'm trying to hide from it. He didn't want it. Got one. Oh yeah, that was sweet, guys. This thing is fat, dude. There we go. Sweet. Let's get a good smooth release on this dude because it might be a little bit prego. Jam the man, smooth release. Going back to tell his homies now. I'm trying to be like mega stealthy so I can keep catching them. Once I get my bait out there, they don't pay as much attention to me as they do the bait. All right, let's try to get on some more fish. Whoop, got him. He thought he took off with that one. He thought he was gone with it. Whew. That's probably one of the biggest ones in there. That one and the other one that I caught. The other one seemed to be a lot smaller.
Got one. Oh, he stroked it too. Get up here. You gotta be smarter than the fish, guys. Another green sunfish. This place is just filled with green sunfish. Almost every time I come out here, I never catch anything but those. <clears throat> hey, there's a turtle shell. Wow. I'm gonna wash my hands now, salmonella. Oh, he dropped it. A couple more rolls here and then we're gonna try somewhere else. All right, well, I was gonna wait and show you guys this maggie, but I went ahead and tossed it out. Immediately, I had a bunch of them come out after it. I'm pretty sure this may be the same one that I caught earlier, actually. And that's a little bit colored differently. Spawn mode on those fishes. But yeah, like I said, changing up that bait. If you're not getting hit anymore on one bait, switch it up, bam. Another little green sunfish. I wanted to show you guys this little school. Oh man, it's a fat belly. I think they're about to spawn again. I wonder how many times a year these things spawn. Freaking, look at that, it's so disproportionate. It's a little chunk. I don't know, it's kind of hard. It might be crawdads. I actually just seen a crawdad right there. That's like, oh man, its body is messed up. I don't know how much of that you guys can even make out, but it's it's got a messed up little body there. Big old lotty. That might be about the only amount of action I get off of this area. I haven't really seen too many over here. Got one. Hey, what do you know? I think it's the same one, dude. Are you serious? No, it's not the same one. Pretty colors on them though. I'd really like to take one of those home for the tank. Well, I really didn't think I was gonna catch them anymore. They keep picking it up. There we go. They kept picking it up, but they weren't getting it. Oh. Got one. Nice. Is that the same one? No, this one's a bit fatter. Whoa. The chunky one, dude. Look at that belly. Look at that. Golly. For such a little fish, that is a huge belly. Ginormous. Look at that. Fat. They are about to pop. Wow. That was really cool, guys. I don't put up more of a fight than any of the other ones today. But as you guys can see, there's a little bit of a tree hanging over that. And I've noticed a lot of times in throwing baits like this um, in areas that are underneath the tree especially, the fish tend to strike it as soon as it hits the water just because they're so used to many different kinds of uh, worms and crap falling off, creatures. Well, creatures, insects and stuff that fall off. I think we're gonna have to journey further down, folks. As much as I don't want to, and I'm gonna have to. Yeah, oh wow, I see a really big school right now. Going down that way too. We gotta chase them. We're gonna get out of my league here. Oh, I'm on a rock. <laughs> Got one. Another green, another green sunfish. And something bit me on my arm, probably a mosquito. It kind of bounced out of my hand, that was awesome. Another creek fishing video, guys. I love to do me some creek stomping. It's not always productive, but it's really cool to find this creek at this much water right now. I'm getting ate up by something. I should have put some kind of mosquito repellent on. Okay, that went right in the grass. That just broke me off. 